With the most recent patch for Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3, we have a new event, the Reed's Remarkable Rewards. So you can get a ton of your, your shield depot points, you can get quite a lot of your XP cubes as well, and thrown in there, there are some costumes now. The majority of the costumes you can actually get via the, the shield depot instead, with one exception actually, and I'll show you where that costume is. But this video is going to be all about how you actually farm this. Now I will say in advance, it's not fun, it is exceedingly boring but it is a means to an end and it's something you can do while watching TV. I've managed today actually to get up to tier number 29 while I've been working from home on the laptop at the same time so it does work nice in that regard. But in regards to the rewards anyway, let me just go all the way along to tier number 28. Now in this tier we have the Deadpool Battle of the Atom costume, it's not the original colouring, not even sure if that's in game at the moment, it's a recolouring of it but this is the only place you can get this, you cannot buy it in the Shield Depot at the moment. From there, if we go all the way along to tier number 54, I would say this is the last reward that you actually want to aim for, so you'll recover 3% of Shock Ability Attribute damage and you'll do extra damage with Ability Attribute tax as well so this is a nice one that's worth getting from that point onwards you've just got your shield depot points you've got some cubes and you've got some voiceovers you can see the costumes if i scroll along here you can see the two costumes for electra and thanos you can actually get them in the shield depot anyway so there's no reason to go as far as that but how do you actually farm these points you can see at the top it says you can earn event points by completing the story let me show you the method I've used, and once again, it is exceedingly boring, but it does get this done for you. So the way this is set up then, it looks like when you actually finish a certain trigger point at the end of a stage, it will give you two points towards each of your little pips it fills up, and there's five pips it needs filled up per tier. Now the difficulty doesn't make any difference on this, so you can do it on any difficulty, but you want to go to chapter 9, and you want to go to this final stage here. Now let me actually load it up and skip past the, the loading section, because it does take a good minute or two. Once the game loads in then you're just at the, the end of this level so there's no bosses or anything to fight. You simply hit the X button, skip, go up to Odin, A to talk and then X to skip once more. And then from there it will actually load up the next level. You can see this is a nowhere stage so you would skip past this, get your big long loading screen. Once that's loaded you go up to the portal, you save and quit and you just simply keep repeating that. And I'm going to say it for a third time because I know I'll get comments about it. This is really boring, you can if you want instead, you can actually play through the story but it will take a, an absolute age, this is actually a really quick way to do it and again it can be done while you're doing something else. But that's how you get the rewards and do go up to tier 54 as mentioned, you don't really have to go any higher than that. So thanks for tuning in, I hope the video has been helpful, if there's any other methods you're actually using yourself, let me know in the comments below and I'll see you all again soon.